For patients who have um, tyrotoxicosis, uh, there are some two main signs. Okay, so this one is not symptoms; it's signs. It's actually what that, uh, what you as a medical professional actually see. Okay, so there are actually two signs for um, tyrotoxicosis, and one is what lead retraction. The other one is what lead lack. All right. So we're just trying to pull, uh, uh, pick out these two signs and talk about it. Since these two signs are kind of like the most important signs for diagnosing tyrotoxicosis, okay? It's of good use that we'll pick it and actually talk to it. All right, so this is lead retraction. Then this is lead lag, okay? So both of them, there are conditions affecting the eye, but they are quite different. Okay, so we will just talk about them. I guys will see the differences, okay, between the two conditions. So for lead retraction, look at this man very well. Now, when you look at this man very well, you see that in lead retraction, the upper eyelids retract, exposing more of the sclera, which is the part, which is the white part of the eye. Now, your eyeballs are going back. Now, guys, see that the what? Look at my own eyes. The white part is not showing as much as this guy's on, okay? So it's showing much because what? His eyelids have retracted back, okay? So that's it. It can be unilateral or bilateral. It can be on one eye or two eyes. It can be caused by increased sympathetic tone and muscle contraction. They're looking at the next one, which is lead lag. Lead lag is what? Delayed descent of the upper eyelid upon downward gaze. You know, if I'm going to look down, my eyelids are kind of like descending, okay? But if I'm looking down and my eyelids are still descending, that's lead lag. Your eyelids are lagging behind, okay? It can be measured by asking the patient to follow a moving finger, like. So when they look down, you find out that the eyelids are still backward. That's lead lag. Okay. It can also be caused by what increased sympathetic tone and what muscle contraction. Now both signs are used to what both signs are due to what excessive production of thyroid hormones, which stimulate the sympathetic nervous system, and this can lead to what increased muscle tone, enhanced contraction of the levator papillary superioris muscle, which is responsible for what elevating the eyelids so in both conditions the eyelids are kind of like backward right but they have a small difference okay which we already spoken about there's also inhibition of the orbicularis oculi muscle which is responsible for eyelid closure so in this type of person the person might even sleep is deep asleep with their eyes widely open okay so um, these ocular signs can also be used as a diagnosis clue for tyrotoxicosis, especially when it is combined with clinical features such as what? There's esophthalmos in tyrotoxicosis too, there's weight loss, there's tachycardia, there's tremors, and there's heat intolerance. So if you have a patient having lead lag, lead retraction, with a combination of these other clinical features, you just simply say, well, the patient has what? Tyrotoxicosis. So that's it about differences between lead retraction and lead lag in tyrotoxicosis.